Welcome to Tech Nation, where we take a deep dive into the world of technology and explore the stories that have shaped our digital world. Today, we're going to talk about a company that once dominated the mobile phone industry and then vanished faster than you can say, Snake 2. That's right, we're talking about Nokia, the company that brought us iconic phones like the 3310 and the N95. But what happened to this once mighty tech giant? How did they go from ruling the mobile phone market to barely making a peep? Stick around because we're about to uncover the rise and fall of Nokia, and trust us, this is a story you won't want to miss. So, grab your popcorn, turn off your Nokia Lumia, and let's get started. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, or Finland, to be precise, there was a little company called Nokia. It was founded in 1865 as a pulp mill and slowly transformed into a conglomerate that produced everything from rubber boots to televisions. But it wasn't until the 1980s that Nokia truly found its calling in the mobile phone market. By the 1990s, Nokia was already a major player, producing popular phones like the Nokia 1011 and Nokia 3210. Nokia's success in the mobile phone industry can be attributed to a number of factors. First and foremost, Nokia was a pioneer in mobile phone technology. They were one of the first companies to introduce features like SMS messaging and color screens. But Nokia's success wasn't just about innovation. They also had a knack for creating products that were both stylish and user-friendly. Nokia phones were known for their durability, long battery life, and easy-to-use interfaces. And let's not forget about Snake, that classic game was a major selling point for many Nokia phones. Unfortunately, Nokia's reign at the top of the mobile phone industry was short-lived. There were a number of factors that contributed to Nokia's fall from grace. One of the biggest was Nokia's failure to adapt to the smartphone revolution. They were slow to transition from their tried-and-true feature phones to touchscreen smartphones. This delay allowed competitors like Apple and Samsung to swoop in and dominate the market. Do you know that the first ever Nokia mobile phone was introduced in 1982? Yes, you read that right. The company has come a long way since then, and today, it's almost impossible to imagine a world without Nokia phones. Nokia's first mobile phone was called the Mobira Senator. It was a bulky device that weighed a whopping 22 pounds. Can you imagine carrying that around all day? The phone had a built-in handle, a retractable antenna, and it could only make and receive calls. Remember the Nokia 3310? It was practically indestructible and had a battery life that seemed to last forever. And who can forget the iconic Nokia 5110 with its interchangeable covers? Nokia was always pushing the boundaries when it came to design, making their phones not just functional but fashionable too. In 1994, Nokia released the 2100 series, which was the first ever mobile phone to feature an internal antenna. And in 2002, Nokia launched the 7650, which was the first phone to have a built-in camera. They continued to innovate, introducing features such as color screens, MP3 players, and even touchscreens. So off they went, venturing into emerging markets like a fearless explorer seeking new lands to conquer. And they didn't just dip their toes in the water, no sir, Nokia dove in head first and made a splash that was felt around the world. And you know what? The people loved it. Nokia's sleek and stylish phones quickly became the must-have accessory in these markets, and their popularity only continued to grow. Now, you might be thinking, wow, Nokia must be rolling in the dough now. And while they certainly did see an increase in profits, they didn't do it for the money. No, they did it because they believe that everyone deserves access to quality technology, no matter where they live or what their economic situation is. Back then, there were two phones that stood out as icons of the industry, the Nokia 3310 and the Nokia N95. Let's start with the 3310. This phone was an absolute tank. It could survive drops, spills, and just about anything else you could throw at it, or throw it at. Its battery life was legendary, with some users claiming they only needed to charge it once a week. And who could forget the classic snake game? Many a boring class or meeting was made bearable by that addictive little game. And then there was the N95. This phone was ahead of its time, with a 5 megapixel camera, GPS, and even a front-facing camera for video calls. It was a multimedia powerhouse, with the ability to play music and video, browse the web, and take decent quality photos. It was also one of the first phones to feature 3G connectivity, which was a big deal back then. Both the 3310 and the N95 were hugely popular in their day, and they still hold a special place in the hearts of many mobile phone enthusiasts. 
They were built to last, with a simplicity and functionality that just isn't found in today's smartphones. Sure, they didn't have all the bells and whistles of modern phones, but they did what they were supposed to do, and they did it well. Nokia was once the king of mobile phones, but as the industry shifted towards smartphones, the Finnish company found itself struggling to keep up. So, in a bold move, Nokia teamed up with Microsoft to produce a line of Windows phones. At the time, it seemed like a smart move. Microsoft was a software giant with a proven track record, and Nokia had the hardware expertise to bring those software innovations to life. And for a while, things looked promising, the Nokia Lumia line of Windows phones received generally positive reviews, and some even hailed them as a viable alternative to the dominant iOS and Android platforms. But ultimately, the partnership wasn't enough to save Nokia. The Windows phone platform struggled to gain traction in the face of competition from iOS and Android, and Nokia's market share continued to decline. In 2014, Microsoft acquired Nokia's mobile phone business, effectively ending the Nokia brand as we knew it. It's a shame, really, Nokia was once the gold standard of mobile phones, and their partnership with Microsoft could have been a game changer. But sometimes even the biggest players in the industry can't keep up with the relentless pace of technological innovation. At least we'll always have the memories of those classic Nokia phones. How did a company that was once the epitome of cutting-edge technology fall so far from grace? Let's take a look at some of the factors that contributed to Nokia's decline and eventual acquisition by Microsoft. Firstly, Nokia was slow to adapt to the rise of the smartphone. While other companies were busy developing touchscreens, app stores, and other features that would become the norm for smartphones, Nokia was still churning out the classic candy bar phones with physical keyboards. It wasn't until the launch of the iPhone in 2007 that Nokia really started to take the smartphone market seriously, and by then it was already playing catch-up. Secondly, Nokia's software was lackluster. While the hardware of Nokia phones was generally considered to be top-notch, the software left a lot to be desired. Nokia's Symbian operating system was clunky and outdated, and its attempts to modernize it with the launch of the N-Gage gaming platform and the OV App Store fell flat. Finally, Nokia was slow to respond to the rise of Android. While Apple's iPhone was undoubtedly the game-changer in the smartphone market, it was Google's Android operating system that really put the pressure on Nokia. By the time Nokia launched its first Android phone, the Nokia X, in 2014, it was too little, too late. So, what happened to Nokia after its decline? In 2014, Microsoft acquired Nokia's mobile phone business for a cool $7.2 billion. It was a sad end for a company that was once at the forefront of mobile technology, but it was also a sign of the times. The smartphone market had become so competitive that even a company as big and well-respected as Nokia couldn't keep up. Well, that's all for today's episode of Tech Nation. We hope you enjoyed our deep dive into the rise and fall of Nokia, and learned a thing or two along the way. As we wrap up, let's remember that technology is a constantly evolving industry, and what's hot today might not be so hot tomorrow. But one thing that never goes out of style is a willingness to take risks and embrace innovation. That's what made Nokia such a force to be reckoned with in its prime, and it's what will keep today's tech giants at the top of their game. So, until next time, keep your eyes on the horizon and your ear to the ground, because you never know when the next big thing will come along. This is Tech Nation, signing off.